Good morning. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Judge. I've got a couple of phone numbers here. I don't know who those parties are. Uh, Will, Alice, uh, uh, 3146. Yep, 40. Okay. Then I've got 
false allegations were laid against him, and he just took the position that he, he's not going to put himself in that position again. Um, so he feels like if if it's not to the point of a uh, a full reversal of, of roles, that he would want to have a supervisor there just because of the history of the allegations that are repeatedly made against him. Um, in terms of, of concerns, you know, the isolation is, is the big one. Um, at the most recent visit with the reports, there was reports that um, was reported that he, he basically engages in fasting, um, in intermittent fasting, which for a boy his age seems not not like the best idea. Um, you know, a growing boy needs nourishment and Intermittent fasting just seems like uh, I'm not even sure what. I'm not sure why he, he would be doing that. Um, some other concerns about you know not not sure if he has you know tennis shoes. He's usually wearing the same footwear, the same sandals. Um, so that was one of the things they went. To, I think they went to like REI or something, and so he was you know, asking him about different shoes that he might want, um, stuff like that. Um, but, you know, some concerning things with the last visit that, that were in the report as well. Um, but the isolation, I think, is, is kind of that, that big indicator for us of, I don't know how mom, the, the, the mother-child relationship, it, it gives us a good, in our, in our opinion, a, a good picture of what that mother-child relationship is to mom and how that's potentially negatively in fact, impacting Okay. I uh, refresh my recollection. Where does Dad reside? So right now he is out in, um, and I, I can never remember because I know he works right across the, the state border in between, I think, Nevada and um, either New Mexico or Arizona. Um, and then, but he did tell me recently that he may be moving to Florida to help out with the, he's got a family member there that's not, not doing well, um, and so he may be relocating there. Uh, he's just trying to shore up that before he provides a, a relocation notice. Okay. All righty. Your Honor, from our end, I don't actually know where he lives, and neither does Mom. Um, when he filed, I think he was living in a different area. When he, well, last time we were here, he was in a different area. He was in... I believe he was living in Ohio at that point in time. Last time the modification, the first modification was filed. Um, then he, um, or actually he actually would have been, I think he might have actually been in St. Louis. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, but I know he wasn't where he was at. And now he is, um, I guess, contemplating another move. He didn't do any relocation provisions previously um, from the judgment before it was entered in 2016 and he wasn't exercising even the time that he had under that. In 2017, he, had, he only exercised two telephone calls. In 2018, he did one visit and three calls. 2019, he did one visit and two calls, and that's the last time he had an in-person visit. He wants to blame mom, but there's lots of text communications with the um, supervisors setting up or emails, setting up different times, um, and dad's my asking for whatever time he's asking for they do get set up it may not be the exact time that he originally asked for but that's not necessarily due to my client there's been conflicts with other supervisors things like that but they happen within a relatively short period of time but he's not exercising the time um as far as allegations of um isolation uh i don't well i guess first these false allegations against dad. I don't have any evidence that there's any false allegations against dad. Dad pled pled to different charges I've asked for, which were in Ohio. There's been allegations in the pleadings, which dad has the burden of, to show that they have changed. Um, There was an indication of expungement. I don't know if that, I don't have anything that shows that anything has been officially expunged. but even the judgment itself says that the supervised visitation is due to the fact that allegations were made by the child against father, which resulted in um, in a plea of a misdemeanor assault, which was also something that was out of Ohio. 
So even the allegations themselves were apparently enough at the time for modification to justify supervised visitation. Uh, so that are false allegations, but I, I don't have anything to show that that has been found to be true. Um, in fact, that's not what the judgment says either. Uh, as far as just comments on the intermittent fasting, that, that's not, so I asked my client about, you know, the, the amount of times that he eats, because I've seen photographs of him, he's not malnourished at all, um, but apparently he doesn't eat, he eats more than one meal a day, but he basically eats like a little breakfast and a big dinner. He doesn't eat like lunch um, typically, but she's talked about it with the pediatrician. She's, you know, addressed it as just making sure that he's okay, that's all right. And they said as long as his energy level is up and as long as he is gaining weight in his appropriate range, then it's all right. Um, so, I mean, it's not like this kiddo is wasting away. Um, and it's not like mom is not following up on it just to make sure, but that, that's, not some sort of like cleanse or something like that, which seems to be what Dad was alluding to. Um, the full thing that you you would agree that's a little bit strange for an eleven year old, would you not? Well, I would no, not necessarily that they wouldn't eat a particular meal. No, Fast, I, fasting is not unusual for eleven year olds. Not fasting. That's not what he does. He doesn't not. He doesn't fast. He doesn't eat. I think a lunch is basically what he doesn't do. He. Because he told, that's not what was reported in the supervisor report. The supervisor report was that he he eats basically a, a big meal a day. And so I followed up with my client, because you're right, Your Honor, I wanted to find out just a little bit more about his eating habits, because I just was, you know, I agree just one meal is kind of curious. Is that the only thing he eats? And whether it's accurate or, accurate or not, and what she reports is that he eats, he eats like a little bit of a breakfast, and then he'll eat a big dinner. Um, but he hardly, he usually doesn't eat a lunch. So, okay. Is he being homeschooled because of COVID or? So the initial switch was, um, like right prior to COVID, but he was, um, it wasn't the sole reason that they switched over to homeschooling. I think he hit switched to homeschooling. I want to say it was the end of 2019. I think. Do you remember when that was? I can't remember when that was. What school, what school district does mom live in? Uh, yeah. Thank you. And so she she's a professor at SLU. Um, and so she has been uh, homeschooling him. And contrary to what dad says, he does have various social groups. I mean, we'll have evidence of that at trial that he... He has people that he sees in person. He has people that he interacts with um, through their, like, science clubs, things like that. He has gaming friends that, you know, go get online. There's, like, seven of them that will do various video games, play games together. Um, similar to what a lot of kids are doing right now, regardless, through the COVID process. So, I mean, he doesn't have as much interaction with other people as he did pre-COVID. But that's not 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 necessarily related to the schooling because they were involved even in more groups of other children that were homeschooled, and um, he's been able to do that with some of them. Some of them are more conservative about uh, with the COVID um, issues that are going on than others. But he has, I mean, that'll be evidence that we'll bring up at, at trial, Your Honor. But he has significant contact with other children, um, other activities, other events outside of just mom. Um, and, and other, uh, you know, adult role models as well. And she travels with family members. She, you know, I mean, contact with family members. So it's not like this kiddo is isolated um, from everyone. Uh, and, again, I don't, I mean, Dad doesn't actually, Dad filed a motion to modify. Mom doesn't even know where he's living, and he's asking for a reversal of custody, which seems a bit um, extreme, especially now if he's also considering a move again. And again, I haven't received any information to, I mean, he, he has supervised visitation. I don't have anything to show of rehabilitation or any kind of change in circumstance that would support something like that. Okay. Thank you all. I guess I'll see you when I see you. If you need me before then, let me know. Sounds good. Thanks, Judge. Thanks, Judge. Thanks, Judge.